Life is not competition. I hope many people know about this. Life is such a special gift and blessing from Allah. It's a journey that Allah created only for you, not the others. Assalamu alaikum. 안녕하세요. 다우트 김입니다. Actually, I was editing another video, but a um, few days ago, I got really sad news. So I changed my plan. I was wondering whether I shoot this video or not, but it affected my emotion very much. And I want to tell you my honest thinking about this subject. So I decided. As you know, a famous K-pop star suffered from depression a lot and passed away. I was also the fan of the group, so I was really shocked. Actually, this is a huge social problem in Korea nowadays. Not only celebrities, but also other many Koreans commit suicide. Korea has the highest suicide rate in the world. Many foreigners have fantasy in Korea because of K-pop and K-drama. But actually, Korea is one of the most extremely gloomy country. So I was really curious, why is this happening? Why are Koreans depressed? Yeah, I really worried about it. I will confess you honestly. Uh, actually, I had depression too before I converted to Islam. My father lost his job and my brother was sick. I had to quit music and work 12 hours a day for family. And there were many other problems too. So it was not easy, so I cried a lot. And I thought the world is very cruel for me. So yeah, that's why I want to say about the depression. In my Liberting Story video, I told you about this once. Korea is a very competitive country. You have to get used to the competition since you are young. We have to study well, look pretty, or do something good, whatever. Parents or teachers always tell us going to a good college and having a good job or earning a lot of money is a success. And when you grow up, it's the same. They only wonder what your job is, how much your salary is, or which car you drive. They divide people's level with this and treat them differently. And these treatments put people on the competition more and more. They constantly compare each other and struggle to survive. And finally, when they get into a successful group, they think like this. Oh, I'm not a loser. <laughs> it's really sad. Sadly, there is no time to think about who I am and what is the real happiness inside of me. For me, reverting to Islam, it gave me a lot of help to overcome the depression. So I want to tell you about this. Why are people depressed? Why do they even end their lives? There is depression, loneliness, stress, and lose many other reasons. But I think the main reason of depression is this, the purpose of life. No more purpose, no more motivation, no more energy. I think I can understand this because I lost it once too. But I was so lucky I could meet Islam and Muslim people. So thankfully, I was able to meet Allah. These things changed my life. I had no money. I didn't have a good job and especially I didn't have college to overcome this situation. I thought I was a loser. Mm. But Allah didn't tell me that. Whoever I am, whatever my job is, what kind of life I have been, He led me on the right path. 이게 저한테는 좀 충격이었던 것 같아요. Wow, what is this? Isn't life a competition? Isn't life divided into success and fail? I have learned that the process is not important for the result. But Allah said, there is no result without the process. The every singer processes. And I was thrilled. And I knew that. Life is not competition. I hope many people know about this. Life is such a special gift and blessing from Allah. It's a journey that Allah created only for you, not the others. And I think this is, this is so beautiful. Of course, this journey can be difficult and lonely, but Allah always keep watching and helping you while you're journey. Quran 1697, whoever does righteousness, whether male or female, while he is a believer, we will surely cause him to live a good life. And we will surely give them their reward according to the best of what they used to do. And one more, 2123, and if there should come to you guardians from me, then whoever follows my guardians will neither go astray, not suffer. Um, I told you that life without purpose makes people 
depressed. But I think in Allah's word, we can find the purpose of life. If you worship of Allah and follow his word, your life would be so precious and valuable itself. And also you can find the happiness in here. This is the real. This happiness makes your soul calm and makes your heart peaceful. This is not just a moment of joy, but the real happiness to bless your life. And this is eternal. And this happiness doesn't mean like social success, wealth, fame, or popularity. No, it's not. This kind of things comes fast and go fast. This can satisfy you for a while, but if they are the purpose of your life, you can never be happy. Because you want more and more for the satisfaction. Very easy and simple, but many people forget about this. No matter how popular or rich you are, if there is no purpose of life, it's not worth it. The important thing is know where you go and also who leads this. If you have faith in this, depression doesn't come easy. I'm sure about this. I hope you don't care about others, what they have or what they think about you. This journey of life is only yours. Nobody can disturb this. Only Allah can watch you and help you. And of course you can say, oh, life is pain, life is hard. And yeah, that's right. I don't deserve to say that I understand everyone's pain. Yeah, that's, that's impossible. But you know, life is roller coaster. It's easy and difficult, lacking and abundant, healthy and also sick. Nobody has a perfect life. Everyone has their own pain and sick. But through this process, you can get the patience, will and courage. And this kind of things give you the power to overcome your next hardships. If you have faith in Allah, Allah will never get you give up. This is the one of reason that I believe Allah. So now I'm not depressed anymore and not lonely anymore. And no matter how difficult life is, I have the confidence to overcome it because I know I'm with him. 57.4, my favorite verse. Allah is with you wherever you are. That's all I have and I think that's enough. The last thing I really want to tell, you are beautiful and precious because God creates you in that way. Of course, I can fully understand your pain, but I believe that this will help you move on the next step. I believe in you. Don't give up.